Hi, Carrie here from the Osable River Association, and as part of our Ask Us Anything video series, I'm, gonna, I'm here today to answer a question we received about fish. The question is, how is the Atlantic salmon run doing in the lower river these days? And this is a great question, and it's got a very timely answer for us. There are three rivers that have had historic Atlantic salmon, landlocked Atlantic salmon runs out of Lake Champlain, three rivers in the Adirondacks, including the Saranac River, the Boquette River, and the Osceola River. These fish had legendary runs and there was commercial fishing for them, but they were extirpated in the early 1900s due to overfishing and habitat degradation. Attempts to, to restore the populations through stocking weren't really successful until the 40s and 50s, but then the restoration was thwarted by um, the impacts of sea lamprey being um, predatory on landlocked salmon while they were out in the lake. This prevented the establishment of really strong adult runs into these rivers again. Uh, sea lamprey control started in the 1990s and the populations have been rebounding. While fish are limited by dams in the Boquette and the Saranac River to reach their full spawning access to their historic grounds, the fish were probably never likely to make it beyond Rainbow Falls in the Osable Chasm in Keysville. According to DEC, there's two salmon runs per year, uh, a spring and a fall run, and in the Osable, there have been really good catch numbers um, and, and just good catch over the last few years. The spring run uh, occurs after snow melt and the fish come up into the river to feed, and that should be happening right now. It starts in mid-April and lasts through late May. The best fishing will be in the next few weeks, and the best action is found at the Route 9 bridge downstream to the state campground, which is a good place to access it. In the fall, the run is primarily for spawning, and the fish go further up into the river. The best action here is between the Route 9 bridge and Osable Chasm, but all of the land up there is private, so you have to make sure to contact the landowners to get permission. <clears throat> If you're planning to fish, consider that the river flows are fluctuate a lot and the flows affect your ability to wade and to catch fish effectively. You should visit the USGS stream gauge websites to understand the flows and the DEC has information on which flows are the best and normal for each of the rivers. Also respect public and private property, whether you're on state land or private land with permission of the landowner. And just know that salmon fishing etiquette and ethics go hand in hand with social distancing so please be sure to leave plenty of space between you and other anglers if an area is really popular consider accessing the river at a different point and rotate the pool to give all anglers a chance to access some of the best fishing spots also be sure to check special regulations in the DEC syllabus um, either in print or online and happy fishing so we'd love to hear from you if you've got a salmon story for us or another question, please comment below or send us an email at voice at Thank you and be well.